Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun and is around 200 million kilometers away from Earth. It is the second hottest planet in the solar system and is named after the Roman god of Messenger. One research study in 2020 showed that there are some parts of Mercury where life can exist in microbial form, but technically any statement from the scientific community that starts with probably is open to speculations, although scientific communities take their chances and try to find the possibility. So let's imagine that we go to Mercury to map the surface of the planet and find any such habitable zones. What will be the conditions if we land on the smallest rocky planet in the solar system? Can we survive there with proper suits and precautions or will it be a hostile place like Venus that we visited in the previous video? Let us start our journey to Mercury. My name is Siddharth and you are watching The World of Science. A trip to Mercury from the Earth can take a minimum of less than a year to around four years. Mariner 10 Space Probe performed the first flyby of Mercury and it took nearly 153 days to reach there. Catching Mercury is more difficult than catching other planets like Mars. Mercury is closest to the Sun and it is the fastest orbiting planet in the solar system with a speed of 47 km per second and completing one revolution of the Sun in around 88 Earth days. Launching a spacecraft from the Earth might still be easy, but its establishment into the orbit of another planet is a tricky part. A proper interception is required and since Mercury is moving at such a fast speed, more energy will be required to push the orbiter around it. As we approach the planet, we will be able to watch the rocky surface of Mercury from afar as its atmosphere or exosphere is so thin that it is virtually negligible. The atmosphere is majorly composed of atomic hydrogen, helium and atomic oxygen but also contains heavier elements like sodium, calcium and magnesium. One of the consequences of such a thin atmosphere is that despite its proximity to the Sun, Mercury is not the hottest planet in our solar system. That title belongs to nearby Venus thanks to its dense atmosphere. There is little to no greenhouse effect on Mercury and so there is no variation in the temperature through the days, hence there is also no weather-like pattern. There is no liquid water or liquid hydrocarbon on the surface, thus there is no rain cycle too. There is presence of water vapour, but for cloud formation, there must be a thick, heavy atmosphere to sustain the clouds up in the lower region of the troposphere. Once we land on the surface, we will face similar conditions to that of Mars. The surface gravity of Mercury is around 38% of that of Earth, so a heavy suit is required to maintain the proper weight for walking stably on the surface. The surface is hard. About 70% of the surface is metallic and rest 30% is made up of silicate. The surface texture of Mercury is similar to our Moon, like the crater formations throughout the planet. There are high ridges, small mountains, large barren plains and deep valleys. These craters are found in various ranges from small to as large as Caloris Planitia, which is 1550 km in diameter. These craters must have been formed long ago when Mercury was prone to more collisions from comets and asteroids. Mercury is also tidally locked with the Sun in a spin-orbit resonance ratio of 3 is to 2. This means that for every three rotations of Mercury, it will perform two revolutions around the Sun. On Mercury, we would therefore see only one day every two Mercurian years. These data are quite contrary to common sense. Mercury performs one rotation in around 59 Earth days and one revolution around the Sun in 88 days. Thus, a day on Mercury is as long as two months back on Earth. Standing on Mercury's surface at its closest approach to the Sun, our star would appear more than three times larger than it does on Earth, and the sunlight would be as much as seven times brighter. There will be enough time for us to explore the surface of Mercury, but such low gravity and huge day hours will destabilize our mental and physical health. Due to its weird rotation pattern, one half of the Mercury is therefore getting a night period for that entire span. 
Because Mercury has a negligible atmosphere, temperature on the surface is completely dependent on how much sunlight is being received on the surface. While the day side gets a temperature of up to 430 degrees Celsius, the night side maintains its temperature around minus 180 degrees Celsius. This is a huge range in the temperature distribution and two completely drastic conditions are found on such a small planet. If we land on the colder side, we must have well-pressurized spacesuits if we wish to survive. These temperature differences led scientists to believe that there must be water present on the surface in the form of ice. In the polar region where sunlight is not direct, there can be huge deposits of ice on the floors of deep valleys and craters where the temperature is lower than minus 173 degrees Celsius. Astronomers estimate that around 10 to the power 15 kilograms of ice could be available in those deep craters of Mercury. We could look up to these craters where the temperature is lower to form a temporary base and collect samples to study later on Earth. But we haven't yet talked about the biggest threat on Mercury and that is solar radiation. Mercury has a thin atmosphere and is so close to the Sun that a huge amount of solar wind hits Mercury all the time and it can ionize anything that comes in contact. Thus, our spacesuits will have to be designed to block the fast-moving solar radiation, otherwise there will be no place where we could be left alive on this deadly planet. Radiation is the worst problem to be faced on the surface of Mercury, otherwise Mercury seems a bit like a combination of Mars and our Moon. You can jump higher, find ice in the polar region, see craters every day, day is hot as hell and night is cold like death. It is unlikely that life as we know it could survive on Mercury due to solar radiation and extreme temperatures. So, how was your trip to Mercury with us? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video interesting, please leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Check out the latest issue of our magazine Cosmos Now, which is India's first independent astronomy magazine. Link is in the description. Do follow us on Instagram for daily quality content that'll make you fall in love with science. Make sure you subscribe to the world of science. Until next time, stay scientific.